what is up guys and welcome back to the channel how is everybody doing in today's video we're going to talk about the five things i hate about the yamaha bolt all right guys i'm sure you've already seen the five things i love video if you haven't wait till the end and click this little card or check the description for the five things i love video but so we're going to talk about the five things i hate about the yamaha bolt and the first one just can't be denied for anybody that's owned one of these motorcycles or is looking at it right now. That is the seat. <laughs> this thing is terribly uncomfortable. From the slope of it to the angle of the front of the seat, it is just so, so uncomfortable. There are so many aftermarket options for this bike. I don't know why you wouldn't consider getting another seat. First thing I do is I say, would you look at this? You've got everything from the Saddleman seats to the Mustang seats and everything in between. And they're gonna provide a ton more comfort than this seat will. So I highly recommend, if you're thinking about purchasing this bike and you want any sort of distance riding whatsoever, longer than say 30 minutes to an hour, you are definitely gonna wanna consider upgrading the seat. That seat is just no bueno for <laughs> longer distance riding. The second thing is the ergonomics. And so while I like the overall feel of this motorcycle, I think the ergonomics with the stock mid controls and the low bars puts you in a really tight C position where you're almost hunched forward and your knees are pretty high. Even on the Sportster that I had, um, it felt a little bit more standard, whereas you weren't as tight. So if you were to purchase this bike, they make them. I believe SS Custom Cycles makes them and you can get the Ford controls, highly recommend it. And also getting a different set of bars. Um, I would recommend going with something like what I had, the Baron H bars were amazing. They give you a really straightforward um, feel without being hunched over or something a little bit higher. These bars are very, very low. I would say almost cafe racer feel. No, they're not clip-ons obviously, but they are set um, pretty, pretty low. I've seen people actually rotate these bars up more, but if you do that, what that's going to do is give you even a more forward leaned position, so even more hunched over. So I highly recommend looking at forward control and then also a different set of bars. I think that would help tremendously along with the seat. The thing I want to talk to you about is the notorious death wobble. Yes, this bike is absolutely notorious for it. Let me drop some footage right here. If you saw that, that's pretty crazy. These tires are in pretty good condition up front. Um, I double checked the height of the forks here, nothing's off. So what I did on my bike, and part of the reason I understand that this happens on the Yamaha Bolts is there are rubber bushings in here where the bars mount to the triple tree. And so what that does is it allows for additional vibration to happen from the bars to the triple tree to the forks. And if you're a new rider, that's incredibly dangerous. You can change these out with hard mount risers. So I highly recommend considering that if you're buying this bike, it's actually a really easy switch or you can do what I did and just buy some washers from Home Depot, metal washers, put them on the top and bottom and that actually seats the bar a little bit harder so the rubber isn't actually bouncing around for the bars to be able to move. All it is doing is making the bars that much more sturdy. So. I've never seen it as bad as this one. I've seen several Yamaha bolts and I haven't seen that issue, but when coming off acceleration and decelerating with either the brakes or just letting off the throttle, you guys saw in the video, it's pretty gnarly some of those uh, vibrations that you get. So I would highly recommend considering adding those washers in if this is a bike that you're wanting to get. Another thing I would definitely like Yamaha to do for this bike, it'll never happen, but is add a six speed transmission in here instead of the classic five speed transmission. I think the six speed transmission would really help this thing on the highway. It absolutely screams at highway speeds, especially with that Vance and Heinz exhaust. It wants a sixth gear. <laughs> and so Yamaha, please, if you're watching this video, which you're probably not, but if you ever do, add a sixth gear to the Yamaha Bolt. That would be amazing. And there's not much more I can say about that. <laughs> I know all the Sportsters have five speeds. Um, a lot of bikes still have five speeds, but you know, this is more of really an urban commuter, I would say. This isn't a long distance touring bike, so I understand why they put the five speed in here. But Yamaha, come on. If anybody wants to ride this on the highway for any sort of distance, you want that sixth gear. So add that in there. That would be nice. Another thing that I would say 
And the five things I love video is the modability of this motorcycle, but I will say the cost of those aftermarket parts are quite a bit higher than the Sportster, only because this bike only came out in 2014, whereas the Sportster has been around since, oh God, the beginning of time. No, I think it was like the 80s, late 80s, or maybe early 90s. And so um, the cost of aftermarket parts for this bike are a little bit more expensive. So if you're looking to do crazy modifications, you may consider the Harley. Overall, the reliability in this 950cc engine are terrific platforms. And a bonus one I would say is this thing weighs 542 pounds. That's a huge bitch! Whereas the Sportster 1200 weighs 529 pounds. So it is about 20 pounds heavier, this bike, over the Sportster. Come on, <laughs> like you have that steel frame in there. That's adding a ton of weight. You could have done a lighter weight frame on this. That is a full solid steel swing arm right there. Um, so, you know, there are ways to reduce some weight on this motorcycle. And you just obviously can't get around the big V-twin engine weight. The weight is definitely something to consider. Now that being said, in the five things I love video, I talk about the seat height being low. So it is very manageable and the center of gravity is pretty low in this motorcycle. So it's not something that's gonna feel like it's gonna tip over on you all the time, but it is a pretty heavy motorcycle. In conclusion, the Yamaha Bolt is a solid beginner to intermediate motorcycle. Most if not all of these issues can be corrected for minimal cost. These opinions are for you to take into consideration, or not, should you plan to purchase this bike. Anyway guys, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, it is free, helps me out a lot, and click that bell to get notified when more videos come out. Thank you so much for watching, we will see you in the next video. Later!